and family, I'm Ralph, 36 this year, and I have an idea. My idea is in renewable energy education through my startup company called Solar Fun. We hope to make the economy much greener and better towards the citizen of human. Ralph is uh, someone with brilliant ideas, original ideas. So I said, if you have a passion, you go for it, Ralph. The solar business is definitely the business of the future. But I think the bottleneck is having qualified people to manage the business and to grow it. The idea will be very much impactful for the society in the sense that it is very centered around green and we want to be recognized as the pioneer of the first school of solar in Malaysia and possibly in Asia Pacific. I think it's important to reach the next level of performance in terms of resource capability as in uh, having enough uh, uh, financial support. Starting solar fund is a uh, big challenge in terms of getting the right resources, the funding, but the idea is there. The idea is to, to make uh, renewable energy education in Malaysia a reality. Hi, happy day. I'm Ralph. I'm presenting my project on Solar Fern. So Solar Fern aspire uh, to be part of the transformation of this country. So your business is setting up an academy to certify solar engineers. That's right? right. You are true. For that matter, if you look at uh, the big company like Robert Bosch, QCell, they've in invested close to two, three billion. Who would recognize the certification, by the way? Uh, we, our partner, Solar Station from Germany, is already part of the group that certify the RAL, which is a certification body of all the European solar panel and uh, standards. So we are bringing that standards into Malaysia. A very good start for Ralph, as he can answer the questions very clearly. But what about the next question? How long is the course for? Say that? How long is your course for, your okay. proposed course? This, this uh, solar lab that we have, the initiative, is all run out in uh, Europe called Solar Tier. Uh, it, is, it is a program that uh, ranges from uh, six months to uh, one and a half year. So you can have uh, people who with IT skill set or even mechanical background, they can come in and certify themselves and be ready to move into the market. What would be the average charge to certify one guy? Oh, How much would you presently, charge interesting, uh, we, we, I just talked to a green technology industry of mine. He sent his engineer to, to Europe, it costing him about 4,000 euros. And for a fraction of a cost, I would say uh, if, you, if I charge a four or five thousand ringgit, I can certify him already in Malaysia. Hmm? Now, your business plan is to a company that grows by creating a Malaysian accreditation, is that correct? Do the judges and investors have the same understanding towards rough business or the other way around? Now, your business plan is to a company that grows by creating a Malaysian accreditation, is that correct? Uh, the plus point here is the first Asia Solar Academy that certify not only Malaysian but the whole Asia Pacific to be equivalent to a certain level of skill set that is attainable to the market. I'm not really convinced that uh, solar is the, I mean, the thing yes. uh, towards the future because mm. it seems that the growth is very slow. True. One reason is that I see that uh, it's lots of uh, testing and mm -hmm. pilots. It's not really a, a usage that mm. is able to sustain itself mm. uh, over years. Okay. Now, the judges and investors have lost their interest in rough product. They feel it is unstable. Let's take a look on that will happen next. And why are you uh, going to that direction when this is still not certain? Indeed, uh, the fit-in tariff in Malaysia is modeled by two gentlemen from Germany. The German itself, many of the farming today no longer have cow, but they have all the solar farm. Evidently, in Selangor government, they have put in the land. So they are just inviting people to put in the farming of the solar. And lots of skill set need to be there to service, to ascertain, and even to do an audit on the energy. And the fine part here is, you're saying solar is not used much in Malaysia. Imagine those days when you buy an LCD TV, it's 20, 30,000. Today, you can have it like 600. So every single year, the panel is dropped by 15% as much as that. So our little friend neighbor, Southern there, they're having a big R&D base. We are going to play, play catch up to them. It's so them. good. Huh? Why are the country rich with solar not adapting it throughout? I mean, places like Middle East, uh, desert areas like mm. Texas, they are not uh, into right, all right. this. Gaya thinks that only minority of population will be interested in his product. Does Ralph have anything to defend it? I agree to you. When I talk about RE, renewable energy, 
you have a quite a big uh, segment of that. Solar is just one of them. Some are rely on wind, some are biogas. Naturally, in Malaysia, we are talking about, we have signing the energy protocol for Kyoto. We need to reduce 20%. What if we don't do that? We don't match that. We will be penalized. So I'm also one of the players who will be able to do my little part to contribute to the energy security of, the, of this country. All right. Your projections show that in the first year, yes. you have income of 500,000. Second mm -hmm. year, 400,000. Mm -hmm. Third year, 300,000. Why is your income projections dropping every year? These questions is fairly tough for Ralph to answer. He has to take a step back to think about this thoroughly, as this involves a large amount of cash. Which investor wants to invest in a business that is getting smaller and smaller? Uh, well, uh, that, that's a nice question, but I have to analyze that again with my finance people. Lah. Ralph himself is clueless on his yearly income, as it has been declining, and this makes him worry. But okay, so you don't know, do not know what's in your pro projections? The projection is made by me. On, on the basis that uh, the number of students, the number of branches. So currently, I already tie up with Help University, which ha currently have three campuses and one new campus is coming. They have a base of about 10,000 over students. But presently also, we will be talking to a uh, counterpart in Germany, where some of our skilled people... But you didn't answer my question. My yeah. question is, why is the income from your business becoming smaller and smaller? Ralph is trying to avoid question from TS. Why? Let's take a look. But you didn't answer my question. My yeah. question is, why is the income from your business becoming smaller and smaller? Uh, gradually, if there is uh, a lot of uh, opportunity, competition will come in. This is the fact of the reality. I'm not a monopoly player. But by that time, I will have, uh, uh, have a, a more dynamic sense of approach where I can uh, leverage on regionalization plan of this uh, plan of mine, you know. TS is unsatisfied with the answer and that makes Ralph in the rocks of convincing the judges. Will there be more questions for Ralph? If you're working with a private university on this, why would you need uh, 500,000? Oh, uh, I'm only asking 400,000 because setting up the lab cost is 1.2 million. So I need to have a certified lab so that the student who come in, they can actually have a practical side and not we're talking about theory. It's really hands-on where they are qualified to go out there and work on the panel and uh, patch it up to the grid. So it is a complex thing to do. So where does the, eight, the remaining 800,000 come from? Uh, I will have other investors from Europe and likewise. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for your time. All the questions and issues has been answered even though there was some confusion and disagreement. Only the judges and investors have the answer to qualify Ralph or not. I've already did my best. Okay, I come here with a mission to tell uh, fellow Malaysian that our country needs to green the economy as part of innovation. If they understood my message, then I will have already achieved my mission of coming here today. Naturally, I, I treat all the questions as a challenge. So as any challenge, being a new technology platform in the country, we need to convince them. And to convince them, we need to actually do a pilot project and they can see for themselves the result is there. Uh, people are graduated from that program and then there's a work opportunity and higher income towards the country. Okay, I've come here and I've succeeded in my mission. I think if I'm given this chance for the final, I will even uh, give them a, a bigger uh, information and insight into my business. Malaysia, support me. Hui Sui In is a very passionate 